Today we're back in Phuket and we're about to spend two nights in a pool villa in a luxury five-star hotel. And we are lucky enough this time to be having the experience of staying in one of the beachfront pool villas courtesy of Pullman Panwa. So firstly, this is lovely, look at this bed. Welcome to Always on a Journey, Pullman Panwa. In this video, we'll also take you to the best spots for sunrise and sunset and the area around the hotel, release the endangered bamboo sharks back to nature, try some authentic southern food, wow. and free dive like a shark with an underwater scooter. That was good fun. These were memorable experiences during our stay at Pullman Phuket Panwa Beach Resort. I'm going to quickly show you around the room that we're staying in but I won't take too long doing that because we want to get out and explore the area that we're staying in which is Cape Panwa in Phuket. This room is a beachfront pool villa and it's 150 meters squared so you'll soon see there's a lot of space. This is a beachfront villa and we've got a sea view which I'll, I'll save that bit till last because it looks beautiful and I haven't seen it yet. So firstly this is lovely look at this bed welcome to always on a journey Pullman Panwa and this is the bathroom which is a really really good size so we've got this sunken in bath here which is gorgeous but then Oh, so the shower and the toilet are separate, so let's see what this one is. So this is the toilet in here. Then we've got two sinks as well, so there's one on either side, so we've got the mirror and the dresser and everything here on one side, and then this is separated on this side. So we've got a rain shower and a standard shower, so we've got the two options in there. As you can see, there's plenty of space. Um, I definitely won't feel squashed or cramped in here for the next two nights. Let's go outside on the balcony and have a look and see what this is like. So we've got an area out here just for chilling, relaxing. So we've got this lounger here. Then there's the table and chairs here. And this is beautiful. So we've got this, we've got this nice little pool here with this gorgeous view when we're so close to the beach. What more can you ask for? Pullman Phuket Panwa Beach Resort, it's located in a quiet spot called Makam Bay with a stunning sunrise and a view of the Andaman Sea. Imagine yourself soaking up the sun on a secluded beach surrounded by swaying coconut trees and cool ocean breezes. It's known for being luxurious and comfortable, making it a perfect choice for your dream island vacation. Good sir, sir. Thank you. I thought all those coffee beans were little chocolate, bits of chocolate. I wish it was chocolate. Oh, which one do I want? Of course, I'll have the biggest one. So this year, I'm trying to only eat sweet things once a week. But today's an exception. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I don't care. In the afternoon, we participated in a really interesting activity in the hotel's beach, baby shark releases. This was a collaboration with the Phuket Marine Biological Centre and the Oceans for All Foundation. Uh, Ocean for All, we are a non-profit foundation. Since 2019, we come with, uh, with many, uh, several projects to save our sea. Just like we have here, we have a shark nursery and we also have sea ground nursery. You can see the cigar tank. This activity is one of many of Pullman Phuket Panwa Hotel's sustainable actions. So far, the hotel has successfully released 30 baby bamboo sharks into the waters of Panwa Beach. There's over 450 different types of sharks. Some sharks give birth to live babies while others, like bamboo sharks, lay eggs. These eggs hatch on their own without any help from their mum. 
and the people who work there take care of these eggs in a special nursery until they're ready to be released, which increases their chances of survival when they're released back into the ocean. For everyone just to want to see, you can please stand behind, don't block the way for the shark. So stand behind the one who going to release the shark. And also, just we only put them into the water and let them swim out from the bucket by themselves. And, and at the first, they just only stay around here. It's normal of them, don't worry. It take time, let them take time to make it, use it to the sea and they will quick swim far away and then we say goodbye to them. A little of my part, I feel like um, a little bit sad. And another part, I feel happy for them. But the part sad for me is the they are very little. Uh, about six months old, but uh, the guy say it's all enough to be in the nature. So another part of me, I feel happy for them. Even though Jerry released the baby bamboo shark back into the ocean, it's still not guaranteed that it'll survive. The chances of survival are around 50%. Good luck, baby sharks. If you do want to venture out from the hotel, just a few yards from the hotel, you can come down here to the seafront. And this area, it's, it's quiet, but there's still a lot of activity. So there's a night market, and there's a lot of people down here selling clothes. And if you want to grab a bite to eat, there are plenty of restaurants in the hotel. But if you want to come out and find something outside of the hotel, there's quite a few options down here where you can get some street food. And I'm going to turn the camera around now and you can see the sunset down here is absolutely incredible. That's one of the best things actually about Phuket is on a clear day you're guaranteed to get a wonderful sunset. Have a look at this. We started our day with a beautiful sunrise, just steps away from the villa. What a way to begin a fresh morning. To make it even more special, we enjoyed a private breakfast right in the private pool. The breakfast came on a floating tray and it included everything we could ask for. A basket of fresh pastries, a platter of delicious tropical fruits and a hot cup of coffee, amongst other things. When the tide goes out, the water moves back, uncovering a huge area of sand that was hidden underwater before. You can walk out there and see all kinds of cool things. We're in luck this morning because the tide is low tide right now and we've spotted a couple of starfish, a couple of crabs. Oh, I'm watching where I stand. I don't want to stand on one. Oh, this another, ah, oh, can you see that? Don't touch it. So we feel like two little adventurers and explorers. They are covered in sand, so we've took our flip-flops off and we're just being really careful when we're walking to make sure that we don't stand on anything. Oh, there's another one there. Yeah, it's moving as well. Can you see that? Yeah, but because they're covered in sand, mm. I think we have to be really careful that we don't stand on them. So I just need to pay attention a little bit more than I usually do, because I'm quite clumsy. Do you think people eat that fish? I don't think so. I know they eat jellyfish, but I don't think they eat starfish. I mean, do you want to try and see what happens? No, 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 they're too cute. <laughs> During your stay, there's two pools for you to choose from. This pool that we're at now, this is right next to the beach, and this one's much bigger, so there's lots more beds to choose from. The pool's really big, and it's next to the restaurant where you can go and grab some lunch called Edge. 
There is a second pool as well. That one is smaller, but it's right next to the gym and also right next to the kids club. If you start getting hungry at lunchtime, there's a restaurant which is called Edge and it's right next to the pool with a lovely view of the sea. I've ordered fish and chips and Jerry, what have you ordered? A Thai. Okay, so it's lovely just chilling here. The weather is glorious today. February is a really, really good time for visiting Phuket. Besides having lunch at Edge Beach Club, our hotel offered several other dining options. Tamarind Restaurant, we had dinner here. They offered two special set menus, and a man set with seafood, and authentic southern classic set with traditional dishes from southern Thailand. We chose the latter which included seven dishes which were young fern stem spicy salad, roasted shredded coconut salad, followed by our signature main course which was crab curry with rice noodles, slow cooked pork belly, my favourite, and stir fried miang leaves with crispy shrimp. And the thing that grabbed my attention the most is this one here which is pork belly which I absolutely love and I think it's got soy sauce in there. Wow. <gasps> Aqua Restaurant. This restaurant serves a full breakfast buffet every day and also offers themed dinner buffets that change nightly. Junction Bar. Open from 10 a.m. until 11 p.m. This bar offers coffee, pastries and alcoholic beverages. Live music plays here after sunset. If you do decide to venture out in the afternoon or any time really, this area that we're at now, this is called Aoyon. This is lovely. We often come down here when we stay in Phuket and this beach, is, it's a good beach for swimming at and it's not that busy. Aoyon Beach near Cape Panwa in Phuket is kind of like two beaches in one separated by a rocky area. The bigger part is on the other side of the small hill. If you go over the hill and around the bend, you'll see it. It's easier to park your car on the main road and walk down one of the paths to get to the beach. We've just crossed over this bridge. I've never actually been over this side before, but it looks like there's a few groups of friends and family sitting having a picnic, which looks really nice. At this beach, there are a few street stalls as well. So there's a few places behind me that sells a little bit of street food. So you can get some tam, which is papaya salad or some grilled chicken. And um, there's usually like different barbecued skewers, so meat on a stick. Yeah, it, I mean, there's enough to do in the hotel. If you want to stay there for two days, there are water activities that you can do. You can do paddle boarding, you can do the kayak. Then there's a hobby. We wanted to go out on the hobby today, which is a little bit like a small catamaran but there needs to be a little bit more wind and today there's not that much wind so unfortunately we can't do that but hey it is what it is so yeah you can do as much as you want in the hotel but it's worth coming down to Aoyon even if you just come down for an hour just to walk around it's very local here and um, there are a few tourists here but it tends to attract mostly local people it's lovely If you're feeling adventurous and you fancy venturing out a little bit further in Cape Panwa, you can come here, a bit out of breath, you can come here too. This is Kaukad View's tower. The tower lets you see a full 360 degree view out over southern and eastern Phuket, located on the way to Cape Panwa. It's not a busy spot like Cape Palm Tep or Big Buddha, but it's every bit as spectacular. So, Right in the distance here, I'll try and zoom in. So at the top of the hill, so at the highest point over here, you might be able to see Big Buddha, which I'm pointing at now. Yeah, there's a few steps to get up here. <laughs> you can see I'm a little bit out of breath. I must be a little bit unfit, uh, but it's worth it. Uh, you would need a scooter to get here. You, need, you can't walk from the hotel. It's about a five, what, five to a 10 minute ride, probably from the hotel. So it's up to you really, it depends what you wanna do. If you just wanna relax in the resort, skip this. But if you've got a scooter and you wanna explore the Cape Pan area, definitely check this out. 
There's also a viewpoint close to the tower right along the road. This is a great spot to watch the sunset over Chalong Bay without the effort of driving up a hill. There's no hiking up any stairs, just park your bike on the side of the road and you can have a look at this. It's our last day at the amazing Pullman Phuket Panwa Hotel. We started with a huge breakfast at Aqua Restaurant. They have everything you could ever want. Jerry also joined a fun morning yoga class, which was a great way to stretch out and start the day. But our absolute favorite thing here was diving underwater like a shark on an eco scooter. It was a new experience that was really enjoyable. <laughs> Andrew, stop. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> no, you have to put down the water. Yeah, like that. Try again. Press. Yes, good. Go ahead. If you're feeling energetic and you fancy doing a little bit of exercise, this board here it shows you the different activities that are available today and tomorrow. For example, you can see here both today and tomorrow, yoga every morning at eight o'clock. Then you've got, there's a garden tour, some Thai boxing, the aqua class, which is really fun. And oh, you can learn to speak Thai as well. Now, some of them are free. So these ones here, these are all free but then there's a few of them where you need to pay. So if you want to make a pastry, 500 baht. If you want to do a cocktail making class, 1,200. Barista class, 700. Um, and beach volleyball. So definitely worth considering taking advantage of a few of these because they're included in the price. That's one aqua dance. Uh, you want to try that? No way, no. Forty-eight hours in paradise at the Pullman Phuket Panwa was just incredible. We started each day with an amazing sunrise from our own private pool, had delicious food at the different restaurants in the hotel, and even helped baby sharks return to the ocean. We explored the beach when the water went down and even went underwater like a shark with a cool scooter. If you're looking for a fancy and fun island vacation while you're in Phuket, Pullman Phuket Panwa Beach Resort will give you just that. It's an experience definitely worth considering.